Mom. You go on ahead. Go meet your friends. I'll catch up later. My friends kept you out of reform school. So be nice, okay? Your friends are the reason I have to go to school. I like school and I like my friends. Why can't you like them too? I like school. It's just gonna be pretty embarrassing going back after all that's happened. You know? Everyone's gonna be nice, I promise. Well, except for Mr. Black. I guess. You know, if you gave the gang a chance, you might actually like them. Tom, no. What happened? I thought you, me, and Shorty used to be pals. The same night Dad gets me thrown in jail, you desert me? Why? I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Didn't we do everything together? Yeah, but we did everything wrong. What? So the Sugar Creek Gang does everything right? I don't think so. Didn't they fight us? Twice? And didn't they steal the great canoe fish from us? Okay, but they do get in a lot less trouble than you, and I'm oh, tired so of- so if they started getting into trouble, would you quit them too? Yeah, I probably would. I'm tired of getting in trouble, and I don't want to do it with anyone anymore. Well, you better run on ahead then. Go catch up with your good little friends. You don't want to be hanging around me. I guess I'm nothing but trouble, am I? You weren't trouble when you were little. Just go. I don't want you with me anyway. Traitor. You have to come to school, Bob. Well, I'm coming to school. I'm gonna be the teacher's pet. Tired work hard. Mr. 
Mr. Black ain't a horse. Comes back, bang the door three times, and walk away. All right. See me go in? No. Alright. You sure have a pretty horse, Mr. Black. Is she feeling okay? No, she's not. She's very sick. Why do you ask? No reason, really. I was just curious. Bob Till. Why were you curious? I thought I saw something strange. Just what exactly did you see? I can show you. Here you go. Want to hear a funny poem about the teacher? Okay. The cruelest teacher anywhere is a man named Mr. Black. This monster feet and hay for hair, he's an ugly, four-eyed hack. You make that up? Yeah. Tell us we did. Nice poem. I ever want Shari to hear one of my poems, I'll tell myself. Okay? Okay. Oh, hey. no. I'm going to be stepping out of the classroom for a few minutes. When I return, I expect everyone to have answered both of these problems. And all the members of the Sugar Creek Gang. Follow me, please. You keep quiet about this, okay? Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, Bill, hurry up. Hey, Jim, what'd we do? I have no idea. It wasn't me, whatever it was. Well, come on, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Now, 
Who did it? Did what, sir? Did what? You know exactly what. Well, actually, we don't. Don't sass me, William Collins. I don't have time for it. Now someone confess, or I'll whip y'all. I confess. I did it. You? You poisoned my horse? No, sir. Somebody poisoned your horse? Yes. That's awful. I know. Now who did it? Sir, none of us would ever dream of doing that. We love animals. Really? Then how do you explain the poison in your old desks? I don't, I don't have any poison. poison. What do you mean? Poison. In Bill's desk. Huh? Why don't you come first? Leave your tests on your desks, and you're dismissed. Have a good weekend, everyone. Oh, and um, members of the Sugar Creek Gang, be sure there's plenty of chopped wood in the shed, please. Whipping wasn't enough. Now we have to chop wood? I feel like chopping wood. Me neither. I'm too sore. I'm not chopping anything. Then come Monday, I'll just get more trouble. Why don't we all come in 15 minutes early on Monday morning and chop it then? Good okay. idea. Okay. Sure. Right. See ya. Cross schoolmaster stormed out of the schoolhouse, furious with every single student in his entire class. Breathing hard and trying to regain control of his temper, he hurried down the path to the woods. All the school children peered out the window, watching the cross schoolmaster return. He put his hand on the doorknob, pulled, but the students had locked him out of the schoolhouse. Uh oh. Let me in! Let me in! So he nailed a board across the chimney and smoked them out. Yikes! Man, you sure are slow. Did you see the pile of digits at you? What happened? The Charlie right on you? Yes. Girls. Come on! Wait! I just got to the good part! What do you suppose it's doing here? I don't know. I think its owner wants it. I would if I were him. Yeah, but it's kind of late in the day. Don't you think he would have gotten it by now? I mean, if he really wanted it. Well, maybe. I got an idea. I don't know, Circus. You haven't even heard the idea yet. I don't have to. Cool. 
Go ahead, tell us. Hey, go ahead. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Howdy, fellas. Howdy. Howdy. Hey, Bill. I know. We'll have a vote about my idea. We can't vote without Big Jim. Says who? Where is Big Jim, anyways? He had to take care of his mom and his sisters. They're all sick. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Who's hay? I think it's about to be ours. What do you guys say about making a scarecrow? A scarecrow? Of Mr. Black. Yeah. Yeah, good idea! <laughs> a scarecrow? This is the swallowest idea ever. We'll go get the supplies and be back in a jiffy. And jiff! Scarecrow Black. Hmm, I think you're still missing something. The Cross Schoolmaster. A moral tale for children. <laughs> the Cross Schoolmaster. That's the perfect name for Mr. Black. Mean, mean, mean Mr. Black. Which one of you good for nothing's poisoned my horse? <laughs> you should take a picture of him, Poetry. If only I had my camera. It's not nice to make fun of people. Hey, little Jim! Just kidding! Last one to find little Jim's a cow's tail. I don't want to be a cow's tail anymore. Well, how about a horse's hoof? Or a pig's belly? No, rotten egg. Yeah! Yeah, a rotten egg. Yeah, I'm a rotten egg. Hey, wait! Wait, 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 wait! Poetry's gonna be the rotten egg. Hey, Bill, if you can hear me, I'm going home. Meet me at my mailbox, I'll get my camera. Take a picture of the scarecrow. A swell, swell picture. Well, hello, boys. I have been phoning all over for you, Leslie. There's not a phone in the woods. Mm-hmm. What's the matter? Did I forget a chore or something? We've had company. Mr. Black, you just missed him. 
I want. Well, he was just out exercising his horse and visiting. Very friendly fellow. Beautiful horse. Y'all okay? Want a piece of blackberry pie? Yes, ma'am. Only a piece? Oh, I just happen to have several pieces in the oven. You wanna go get your camera while I wait? Sure. This afternoon at Bumblebee Hill, and we left it there. We have to go get it. Okay. But if you bump into Mr. Black, tell him about Wednesday night. You'll probably see him. I told him where you were. Hurry up, Bill! No. We shouldn't have built that scarecrow. Nope. Come on! My side is killing me. I gotta stop. Then you're on the rotten egg. Fine. Rotten egg. Rotten egg, rotten egg. It's Mr. Black. Tie that bush. book's gone. Read it. Coolest teacher anywhere is a man named Mr. Black. Who put this here? This is the whole poem. Either one of the gang or Shorty and Long. How does Shorty know about this? Dragonfly just had to tell him. Dragonfly. Mr. Black was definitely here. What if he saw a poem? I'm never making fun of anyone ever again. We're going to get looked so bad we won't even have a backside. Hey, Bill. Mr. Black was here this afternoon. Twice. What for? Just wanted to get acquainted with us. Did you see his horse? Yes, ma'am. 
Beautiful, isn't he? Mm, yes, ma'am. And he was so polite. The horse? It's Mr. Black. He took some pictures of us. Pictures? Oh, he wanted to get some of y'all on uh, Bumblebee Hill, but he couldn't find you. He did find your book, however. The Cross Schoolmaster. Where? Didn't say. Did say he'd drop it by Miss Mansfield's. You okay? Yes, ma'am. Could you go gather the eggs for me? Yes, ma'am. Shorty long. I bet you put that one there. Thanks a lot. It's my wife. I think we should just ask Bill if he did it. We can't. Why? Honey, Mr. Black is a liar. But doesn't he appear to be the kind of person who would tell the truth? I don't care how he appears. Our son did not poison his horse. And neither did any member of the gang. Then why did they have the poison in their desks? Because somebody else put it there. Who? I'm not saying because I don't know for sure. But I have a pretty good idea. So you did not poison Mr. Black's horse? Of course not, Mom. None of the gang did. Don't you know us at all? Going to the cave tonight. Me and Shorty are waking up early to go catch pigeons. But tomorrow's Sunday. So? Mr. Collins said that he would take me to church if I wanted to go. But Mom's too sick for me to leave. You gonna pay me 15 cents for every pigeon I don't catch? Just because you wouldn't stay with Mom? No. Where's Dad? Good luck next week. Not for long. Hey, little Jim. 
Howdy. Hi, Charlotte Ann. Hi. Jim, how's your mother feeling? A little better. Dad and I took a breakfast in bed. Did you cook it? Just the bacon. Dad won't let me touch the eggs. Then I might turn them into rubber. Don't seem how all that egg slime could turn into rubber, though. Me neither. Dad, where are we going? I'm going to pick up Tom. His mom's sick, too. Oh, boy. Little Jim, why don't you go knock? Why aren't you dressed? Mom's too sick for me to leave. I've got to stay home to keep the fire going. Can't your dad do that? Dad's not home again. Well, where's Big Bob? Out hunting pigeons with Shorty. I'm sorry I can't go. But I can't. Tell the teacher I did study my lesson and then I'll try to come next week. Oh, wait a minute. My arm. <coughs> Has the doctor seen her yet? No, we can't afford one. She'll just get better. She always does. Well, okay. Sorry. Bye. I suppose Bob's out causing trouble and Mr. Till's passed out on some floor. Honey. What? Why else would little Tom be taking care of his sick mother alone on Sunday morning? Bill, Charlotte Ann, behave. I'll send Tom out so he can go with you. Honey. Just pick me up after church. Are you sure? The doctor's coming to see Mom at 10 this morning. I bet he'd stop here too if we asked him. Well, they can't afford a doctor. Why don't you give the doctor a call? You can bet they will. Ow! What? When Jesus grew too weak to carry his big, heavy wooden cross up the hill of Golgotha, a complete stranger by the name of Simon shouldered the load. Now, if you had been there, would you have been willing to carry it? But all three of us together could have carried it. Well, maybe. Yeah. How about now? People today have many different types of crosses you can help them carry. If you want to. Or perhaps you're wondering, what exactly does it mean to carry another's cross? means you have to be strong. Loving your neighbor can be a pretty heavy cross to bear. You think Mr. Black counts as a neighbor? Yes. 
And when you're angry with someone, the last thing you want to do is to take that cross and carry it. Hey, Bill, you can play. Just stay close and listen for me, okay? Dad, I want to play too. Not here, sweetheart. Dad! Honey. <laughs> you think Big Bob's back with his pitches yet? Probably. Where does he keep them? In the woodshed. You think we can go see? If he catches us, we're dead meat. Lord Jim, will you be our lookout? Sure. All right, then let's go. I'll watch from here. Come on. Wait. What if he's inside right now? Since peace for them. You see the white one? Her name's Snow White. She's mine. You sure? Yeah, you see the black tips on her wings? She's a mommy. I'm gonna get her out and take her home. What's the matter? My man, Bonnie. Bonnie Bob's got a terrible temper. He's already mad at me. That looks familiar. Yeah. You knew all along? Yeah, you did too. Who else could it have been? But I'm not gonna rat on him. He's still my brother. If I thought that Mr. Padler helping him stay out of reform school and the gang signing the paper saying that we'd be nice to him and that, that... That he wouldn't be mean anymore? That's what I thought too. Looks like every single one of her pigeons is gone. Hey, Belle? Yes, sir? Can you come here, please, son? On my way. Be right back. Where'd you put my ladder? It's right there in the center of the haymow. No, it's not. It's not? Mm -hmm. 
Last time I saw it, I was gathering eggs. I didn't do anything with it except for move it from here to here. What's the matter? Someone stole my dad's ladder. Stolen it? You sure? No, little Jim. We're not sure. Not until Bill tries to figure out if maybe it's possible he moved it someplace else. Dad, I didn't. I promise. Maybe they hit it. Just for nasty hook. They? Can't say who they are. Because I don't know for sure. Yet. Dad is very wise, son. Very wise. I'll expect you to keep looking after dessert. What you doing? This one has baby, so I'm letting it go. Oh, no, you're not. I got five cents in my pocket, and I'll give you another ten next week. No, I caught it. I'm keeping it. Now put it back. Did you rip it on Friday, her bad? Just wait till tomorrow. Hey, Bill, look. Snow White. Thomas let her go. Where are the rest of our pigeons? Probably in Big Bob's cage. You guys have spent enough time looking for the ladder. Take off. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not bad. For a girl. Not bad. You wouldn't even know what hand to use for a text like that. Try me. Okay. the dead and slime ran down all the way to his leg. <laughs> now, who's a rotten egg? Bill! Bill's a rotten egg! Oh. <laughs> well, bless, bless you! you. <laughs> bless you! <laughs> Howdy, folks. How's your Sunday afternoon? Swell, Mr. Black. How's yours? Oh, fine. You, um, Mind if I take a few pictures of y'all throwing the ball around? I'll stay out of your way. Okay.
You kids sure are all good. Well, thank you for this um, photo opportunity. I'm going to head back to the schoolhouse now to get a fire started. It's supposed to be freezing tomorrow, but um, we'll be snug as a bug in a rug. Hmm? Goodbye, Mr. Black. Huddle up, huddle up. Snug as a bug in a rug? Never heard that before. What's he gonna do with all those pictures? At least he was nice. Too nice, I say. He wants something. He didn't say anything about the book or the scarecrow. Or the poem. Oh no. Oh no. What? What? Where did he say he was going? To the schoolhouse school to build a fire. With what? Wood. What wood? We didn't chop any. Oh no! You have any wood at your house? Yes, lots! I bet if we run fast enough, we can beat him there. Oh no! too late. Hey, it's my dad's ladder. I'm here. All that running for nothing. Hey, Poetry, does that chimney look funny to you? Mr. Black starts the fire. Smoke won't have anywhere to go. But back inside the schoolhouse. And it'll explode! Yo, I'm running out of steam. Fire for out of steam, oxygen, and now my legs are about to fall. Come on, y'all. I'll be fine. I'm not afraid of heights. Plus, it's my dad's ladder. Well, don't go falling off the roof, okay? No. What's this ladder doing here anyway? Big Bob and Troy Long stole it so they could put the board onto the chimney 
just like in the book, the cross go master. And they knew Mr. Black would blame us. Because he blames us for everything. What a couple of low down, no good, dirty, rotten eggs. Bill, you still don't know for sure that they did it. Maybe I can't prove it, but I know it. It won't budge. Pull harder. It's nailed down. Poetry, hold the ladder for me. I say we just all get out of here right now. Dragonfly, it ain't our fault the board's nailed to the chimney. Dragonfly, hush. Daddy always says four hands are better than two, even if two of them belong to a girl. <laughs> we need something to help pry it off. The window's smoking! There's smoke coming out of the window! Go, Dragonfly, go help Mr. Black! With a hammer, Idol? Yes! There's one in the back of the school room. Okay, you stay here with them. so it wasn't hard. And the smoke cleared away pretty quickly, too. I'm not even coughing. Did they break into the schoolhouse, too? Yep. Little Jim, here's my proof. Where'd you get that? In the pine straw near the ladder. Maybe if we have everything cleaned up, by the time Mr. Black gets back, He'll believe this wasn't our fault. Good idea.
the boys. I am going to have to take drastic action soon. You can't read this. What's drastic mean? I don't know, but I bet it'll hurt like everything. Why don't you look it up? Hello, Mr. Black. Somebody wrote a crazy poem on the blackboard about you, but I erased it. Who straightened up this room? We did. We wanted to prove that we didn't do it. Prove you didn't do what? That we didn't put the board on the chimney. How? William Collins, stop where you are, go to the blackboard, and bring me those beach switches. Here you are, sir. Please don't be cross. Please don't lick me on the scratch thigh. Where'd you get that scratch? On the schoolhouse roof. And what were you doing on the schoolhouse roof? Answer me! Your horse is the prettiest horse I ever saw. We're sorry about making the scarecrow. We know it wasn't very nice. We hope you won't give us a licking. But if you do, we won't get mad. Maybe we should go and chop some wood now. So, do you know who did put the board on the roof? Yes, sir. Sure he wanted me to give this back. He stole it. Me and Shorty did something really dumb. What? It's on page 55. We were trying to get the gang into trouble, so you desert them too. But it was really dumb, and people almost got hurt. So I won't be doing stuff like that anymore. Oh, and teach Bill how to walk around on a roof.
Why didn't you show Mr. Black Shorty's cap when he asked you what you were doing on the schoolhouse roof? Well, I figured if Shorty found out that I ratted on him, then he'd hate us just as much as Big Bob does, and, well, I don't want that. And it also wouldn't exactly have been fair to Tom if we ratted on Big Bob. Exactly. Just wait till Big Jim hears about all he's missed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he missed it. What do you do with house? Last one there gets a blackberry pie. Okay. Wait. 